Hey guys, and welcome to this tutorial on building a um, particle system that follows skeletal mesh around. So what we'll do here is, uh, I just imported a circle, it's just a basic circle I made in Microsoft Paint. We're going to make a material based off this. And we'll load him up. And we're just going to change this from opaque to masked. And we'll just use this as the opacity mask. And then for the emissive color, we're going to get a particle color. And we'll just, uh, we'll multiply this and we'll make a scalar parameter and we'll call this brightness and we will connect that to emissive and I believe we also need to one minus this because it's going to be inverted so apply and we can see what this looks like real quick if we make it to a plane right so there's one more thing we need to do which is go to our um, Select the, this here and go down to usage and turn on use with mesh particles. Or is it? Yeah, no, not that one. Used with particle sprites. Used with particle sprites is the one we want, not mesh particles. Okay. So we'll turn that on. Apply that. So we've got our circle now. Um, we'll make a material instance of this. So we'll just call it MI Circle Mat. And this way we can easily adjust the brightness. Uh, so we'll just make it like, I don't know, 52. Great. So now let's make the particle. So um, we'll make right click particle system. We'll call it P, uh, skeletal particles. So we'll load this up and we're going to get, we're going to change the initial velocity. We'll just change this to 1, 1, 25, negative 1, negative 1, I don't know, 2, just so there's a bit of rising. And we're going to change the uh, material to our particle material. Uh, so what was it? Mi circle map. Mi circle map. So we kind of got this uh, initial size. We can change to uh, five, 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 three, three, three. It's okay. We maybe turn down the velocity a bit. And so for color over life, we can do. We'll start it uh, kind of red, I guess, and go dark red. I don't know. So what do we want? We'll start with yellow and go red. All right, so that's an all right, interesting effect. So now let's add the actual code that makes this work. So we'll go to location, and we will do scale vert slash surf location. And we need to go to the scale mesh actor param name and copy this. I'll save all. Now we need to go into the actor that we want to have this particle and we'll actually add the particle and because I have the particle selected in the content browser it auto selected it otherwise you'll need to select it here. So compile save. Now we need to add an instance parameter and for the name we will paste what we copied and we will change it to actor. Now as you can see we need a reference here and it only gets references in the level but what if we want this guy to work in different levels so we'll do begin play and we will do we'll get the particle we'll do set parameter and get set actor parameter we will again paste the uh, the parameter name and for the parameter we will do self so we'll compile and save compile save all and let's see how this looks so we want to increase the spawn rate a bit. It's working, but we want it to look a bit better. So we'll change the rate scale to 15. So file, save all. And let's see how this looks now. Great, so we've got this kind of orby thing. I'm just going to get rid of motion blur because it's making it look weird, as motion blur is wont to do. So we'll do amount 0. So we've got this kind of cool effect. Now, what if we want to see the mesh just like made of the particles? We can do that too. So there's one thing we can do, which is go to the scale of root location and do update position each frame. And I'll show you the difference. Before, uh, it was following it. Now it's on it, as you can see. So that's interesting. Now, if we go to the third person character and we go to the mesh, if we make this invisible, it's not going to work. The animations won't work anymore because the vertices won't be updated because it's not rendering. But we can cheat by giving it a clear material. So let's go to materials, go to M, M masked, and we'll go into here. 
And for blend mode masked, for opacity mask, we want zero. Or do we want one? I can't remember. Let's figure it out. We want zero. All right. So let's go to our mesh in the third person character and just change the materials to masked and masked. And let's hope this works. I didn't actually test it, so I'm just hoping it does. Just wait for it to uh, compile the shaders. And let's see what we've got. So as you can see, we've got a particle dude. That's pretty cool. And if we want to go back to our particle, we can turn off update position each frame and maybe make the lifetime make the lifetime a little bit less. We'll make it 0.5 to 1. 0.5 to 0.8. I changed my mind. And for the spawn rate, we'll change it to 25. So file save all. Whoops. That's a little well, I guess that would have worked anyway. I'll save all. So here we go. We've got our guy. And it's kind of crazy. And we can go back and turn on update each frame. And this way it'll update it back to the vert location. So we got our guy here. Alright, so thanks for watching. This is how we can make a system where particles follow a uh, skeletal mesh. So thanks for watching and have a good one.